It's giving me very much scissor vibes. Hey y'all, it's Jayla, welcome back. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you how I style my hair using this round brush. I'm gonna give you a review of the Revlon blush and I'm also blush, brush girl. And I'm also going to show you some tips and tricks that I learned along the way. So right now I'm just prepping my hair with water with some spray leave-in so my hair stays lightweight and doesn't get too heavy. And I'm gonna make sure my hair is thoroughly detangled because I do not want my hair to get caught in this Revlon brush, okay? So I'm gonna detangle. I'm also gonna go in with some hair serum from Garnier Fructis. And last, but certainly not least, I'm going to use a heat protectant. This heat protectant is from Tresemme. I'm gonna be very generous with this heat protectant because I don't want no more heat damage than I already have, okay? <laughs> now let's go into the Revlon brush. I'm going to show you some clips in real time because I want you to get a realistic expectation of how long it'll take you to do your own hair, okay? So first things first, you're gonna see me go in this very first section, and this was definitely a learning curve, but I got the hang of it eventually. You'll see me go on the top of the hair, on the bottom of my hair, using lots of tension and just trying to get that hair completely straight and completely dry, okay? And just a note for each section of my hair, I went in with the high heat and then I utilized the cool setting to seal in basically the moisture to lock in the style. So always high heat and then cool. I am gonna speed up some of these clips because it did take me a, quite a while to work through my hair, but I hope that you enjoy seeing a lot of the styling portion. Make sure you stick around because I'm gonna show you the final results. I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons of this brush. And again, I have some tips and tricks for you at the very end. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.
Okay, y'all, let's finally take down my hair and see my results. Okay, y'all, so this is what my hair is currently looking like. So this is what my hair looks like using this Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. Now, I already own the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler, and I've used that to achieve blowouts plenty of times. I will leave that video linked above. So if you wanna see the differences in between my results, go ahead and check out that video and then come back to this video. You can see a clear, clear, clear difference. I know y'all gonna ask about this brush and whether it pulls out your hair. So I pulled out as much hair as I could from that brush. And this is how much hair that I basically lost while doing this whole process. I'm okay with this. I'm fine with that. This is what my brush looks like now. After having met my head, <laughs> I do have a little bit of deformed bristles here, but you know, all is fair in love and war. So just a quick, quick, quick review of this Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. Some things that I really do like is I do like that this gives me a different result than the other brush. I can definitely tell that it gives me a lot sleeker look, a lot smoother look, and I feel like I got a lot more length than I usually would. I felt like I was able to get pretty close to my roots. You can't really tell right now because they're super puffed up, and I think that's just because I was I was getting hot chow and I was sweating a little bit but I did feel like I was able to get that brush very close to my roots it kind of feels like you know back in the day we used to get our hair hot combed that's how it feels when this brush gets super close to your scalp I like how big this is because I did not have to do super small sections I believe I worked in eighths of my hair and I was able to get through it in a relatively short amount of time. Obviously it's not as fast as the other Revlon blow dryer. That one's a lot quicker. And I like the fact that this handle is big enough that I can put both my hands on it because sometimes I did just use both my hands on here instead of holding this cool tip which you're supposed to be able to work through like that. So that brings me to some of the things I don't like about this. This cool tip don't stay cool if you're using the hot setting, okay? It does get pretty, pretty warm and sometimes I couldn't even touch this. It was a little too hot. Um, I also, Accidentally sometimes I was reaching too far down and when I tell y'all that this brush gets hot Like I had to pull my hand back if I reached over too far because it gets really really hot The other thing that I really 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 don't like which I can't even show y'all is Where are the heat settings? Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't see them because they're not there anymore <laughs> This is my very first time using this brush and I already wiped off or rubbed off the heat settings. Um, that's really never happened to me before, you, like something wiping off on the first use. Thankfully, I know that the settings are off and then cool and then low heat and then high heat. But, yeah, that happened. Everything else is pretty pretty good for me, pretty favorable. If I think of anything else, I'll leave it in the description box, so make sure you read that description box. And I was able to figure out how to get different looks with my hair, so if I really wanted to get the roots, I went on the top, and I worked my way down like this. If I wanted to get like my kitchen, I did the opposite way, so I went underneath and then worked my way down like that. If I wanted to curl my hair, I worked my way down and then I held it at the very ends and I just continued to curl while my hair was just at the very ends and then I was able to get a pretty cute curl. So if you're going for like a very, again, carefree scissor type look, you can curl your hair with this tool. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer them and to assist you, especially my type four girls. Again, I know it's, a, it's very hard to find somebody like us with our hair using this tool. So please, please, please ask me any questions. I hope this video was helpful to somebody, especially if you want to know how to use this brush on type four natural hair. I watched a whole lot of videos and it took me a very, 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 very long time to find somebody who was like using this as a round brush and to see their results. So again, hopefully this helped you. If it did, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also like this video so YouTube can share with other people and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.